Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Online Worship Lessons and Carols. Now, during this worship service, we celebrate synchronous communion. This is a time to share communion with the Resurrection Church community of faith as you worship in your home or wherever you may be. To participate more fully in our online worship service, you may wish to gather a few items as we begin, including candles and matches, bread and crackers, wine and juice. Our worship service is blended. That means the hymns that we sing are a mix of old and new. As we light our candles this morning, we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join, with the, join in with those who have gathered here on the RLC campus as we enjoy the prelude, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. Again, good morning, church. Good morning, good church. Morning. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran on this day that the Lord has made this first Sunday of Christmas. Uh, we are honored that you are worshiping with us today. And for those joining us online, worshiping with us from wherever you are, here in the sanctuary, in your home, in another state, we have folks checking in from Florida and Arizona and or even country. For those of you joining us online, you may use the Facebook chat to share your prayer requests, and we'll add them to the prayers of intercession today. For those in the sanctuary, we also invite you to use your handheld devices, ch check in and chat with those online and share this service. We love God through our worship and praise. We, uh, here at Resurrection Lutheran Church, we love God through our worship and praise. We care for all God's children, and we reach out to others. We live into that mission to love and care for our neighbors by continuing to wear masks and using an abundance of caution, including physical distancing. According to the latest CDC report, Spotsylvania County, along with the rest of the whole nation, continues to be an area of high transmission rate. I checked it this morning. It was 16.27%. Several of our, our ministries have de uh, decided to Zoom back online only, and the Women's Bible Study and Michael study, Micah Study Group are on hiatus until next year. We show our love through God, through our, for God through our worship and praise, and once again, I want to thank everyone for giving poinsettias to add to the beauty of our sanctuary. After this worship service, you may pick up your poinsettias, please. <laughs> <And we> <laughs> We show care for our neighbor through our, reach, our caring ministries. And this, uh, on Saturday, January 1st, we will be providing meals for, the food for people who are food insecure 
in the Fredericksburg area. Now, we have a few slots open if you would like to join in this ministry. Zoom links for all activities are included in the RLC Weekly Update posted on our website, resurrectionpeople.org, and on our Facebook page. So today, we invite you to get lost at home as we hear the Christmas story again in word and song. Leading us in worship today are Allie Beck, Alex Johnson, Madison Menville, Chuck and Ann Price, and Greg Williamson. A special welcome to Madison, who returns to share the piano bench with Alex as we are treated to beautiful piano duets this morning. Our video production team is Robert Schull, A.J. Beck, and Kelly Slunt, and I am Pastor Heidi Moore. We continue with our gathering hymn, Angels We Have Heard on High. Please stand as you are able. <coughs> star shines light in the world by day and by night he shines for all to see jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty that the world may see justice and richness of god god so loved the world that god sent jesus so that all who believe in him may not perish but have eternal life jesus is the light of our world Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the light, light of, of our lives. lives. Sing to God a new song. A, a song, song of hope, joy, joy and, and peace around, around the world. world. At this time, we'll share a, a touchless peace. And for those of you who are joining us online, we do invite you to uh, share the peace in the chat or call or text someone as well. So the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and also with you. with you. Peace, everyone. Again, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also, and also with you. you. Before we go on with our worship service, normally I say um, put, put your prayer requests in 
by the end of the sermon. We don't have one this morning. And so if you would have uh, the prayer request in when we sing, What Child Is This? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, and also with, with you. you. Together, let us pray. Shine and into our hearts, hearts the, light the light of your wisdom, wisdom O God, God, and open our minds to the knowledge of your word, that in all things we may think and act according to your good will, and may live continually in the light of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite you to be seated for lessons and carols. Our first reading is from Genesis, chapter 1. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. Here ends the reading. Oh, 
A reading from Luke, the first chapter, starting at the 26th verse. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great. He will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy, and he will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Here ends the reading. over their flock by night. 
Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. Lesson from Matthew, second chapter, verses 1 through 11. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for it is so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. From you shall come a ruler who is the shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
reading from the first chapter of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Here ends the reading. as you are able. It is you, loving God, who lights our path with truth. Word. In his light, draw all to the manger. Together in the wonder of the shepherd. In his light, draw all to the manger. In his light, draw all to the manger. In the brightness of his life. Heavenly Father, we lift before you this day names that we remember for healing. Rose Elmore, Paige Allman, Sue Lesko, Jeff Martia, Eleanor Gifford, Charnette Corbin, Kimberly Licarde, Ward Cochenauer, Amanda Parks, Cooper Hill, Baby Nora, and all those that we name before you now. Katie Hitchburn. It is you, loving God, who meets us on our way in, in the, the light, light of Jesus. Jesus. Show, Show the, the world, world the way, way of life. life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Let us rise. your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them to, the to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to give, to our, give thanks our thanks and praise. and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. In the wonder and mystery of the word made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn.
the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again after supper, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as our Savior taught. Our Father, our Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In Christ's manger, on Christ's table, come. See what God has made known for you. Amen. This is Christ's table. In his love and mercy, he has spread it before us and invites us to come no matter who we are, no matter what we are, whether we're high in faith or low in faith or wondering if we have any faith left at all. Christ simply bids all of us to come. And when God said, and Christ says all, he means all. Amen. Please prepare your communion as we sing, Love Has Come. body of Christ given for you. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, wondrous God, for Jesus, God with us, in these gifts of bread and wine. As we share this feast of love, strengthen us to share your love with all the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Join us as we sing our celebration hymn, Christ Be Our Light. As is our tradition, we invite you to hold hands with the one near you and if you're here by yourself we do ask that you do stay in your places but we will hold out our hands like this as we sing Christ be our light blessing. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit through Christ Jesus through whom we wait. Amen. We continue with our sending hymn, Go Tell It on the Mountain. Behold. 
just a few reminders as we go out into the world to reflect the love of Christ through reaching, loving, and caring for all of God's people and creation. Women's Bible Study and Micah Study Group are on hiatus until January. Join us in ministry this coming Saturday as we provide meals for people who are insecure in the Fredericksburg area, 4 p.m. on January 1st. Links to activities and opportunities to serve are on the RLC Weekly Update on our webpage, resurrectionpeople.org, and on our Facebook page. Go in peace. Rejoice in Christ our Savior. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Amen. Amen.